is Chloe Mirror of Save the Victor Roll. How's everybody doing today? Amazing, I hope. It is another video from your older than average YouTuber here on the YouTube, and we are doing a better late than never playing with the Give Me Glow Summer Vibes palette. So if you want to see this color story, see how it works, you're in the right place. And you know what you need to do? You need to keep on watching. Well, it's been a hot minute since we've done a better late than never. And today it is the summer vibes from Give Me Glow. They recently had a buy one, get one free and my friend took advantage of that. And I have the second one. So the outside cover matches the inside. And I thought today it's been uh, kind of dreary out. So I thought we we're gonna do a sun sunsetty eye. Um, to go with the Summer Vibes palette here. I'm not sure if, I think this was maybe becoming discontinued, so that's why they were clearing them out. Um, so it comes with a mirror, it has a little cover, like, you know, a safety on there. And then this is the color story here. Let me see, here we go. Um, sometimes if I hold it in the right angle, I could actually show you what the color story actually is without it being too bright or too washed out. But this is it here. So I thought we are going to kind of stick around here and maybe that one. Um, of course, as you know, this is the color that's calling to me. I do like this um, um, kind of like a pinky red. Yeah, because yeah, it's kind of red, but with like a pinkish undertone. But I think we want to stick with some more sun setty things. So you can definitely do a nice turquoise eye. You can do orange, yellow, um, red. You can do neutral, um, kind of peachy. This is really a, I think this is a great summer palette. So I thought we would play with that today. Uh, so we're going to start off with the Gerard Cosmetics. I'm going to use the white eye primer. Um, cause these are going to be a brighter color. So I thought it would definitely be way better to use, um, a white primer. Not that a neutral one will be too much of a difference, but you know, just try as much as we can to keep the brightness. I have two other palettes from them. I don't remember there being much fallout with either of the palettes. I have the, um, is it Haunted Pumpkin? And then I have not i have the not the vintage rose but the second one that came out unless the second one is the vintage rose they had they had a vintage something and then they had the secondary one i have the secondary one um and i've been wanting to get more from them so when she took part of this deal i was happy to take the second palette um and I have looked at this one. There's a couple um, ones that oh, I can't remember the names, kind of like dark purples and blues and stuff in there. That was the one that I've been really eyeing, but it's still a little bit on the pricey side. And of course I'm in a no buy, but uh, yeah. So we are going to be playing with this. this is very, very pretty or no buy, low buy. I should say I'm trying to do quarterly, a quarterly new release, but this one has been out, I want to say, a year or so at least and oh yeah and then i'm not wearing a base because I, I was saying how the other ones i don't remember there being any fallout at all but um my friend was saying that there was a little she felt on her palette that there was a little bit of kick up a little bit um not so much on her face but in the pan so i thought okay well i'm going to err on the side of caution and then i'm just going to um, not do my base so i'll come off I'll do my base after everything else because i only have eyeshadows for them but i do have a highlighter which is one of my favorite highlighters so i thought maybe we could do that together at the end while we're having final thoughts on this palette okay <clears throat> for mirror so we're going to use my ghost face i thought we would use that and uh, let me get myself a fluvious brush. Okay, so I think we are gonna start with the shade that is called Orange Soda Pop. So that is this nice bright orange here and I'm going to do that on the outer edge. Like so, whoops, like so. I mean, granted I can look into the camera and hold it that way if I wanted to, but uh, I'm gonna look a little bit more up close. I need to have the mirror facing me, not the uh, ghost face's face. Alrighty. Yeah, so this is a really pretty orange. Um, at the moment, this shade is not showing any kick up in the pan, so that's good. She was like, oh, maybe it's just my palette, but sometimes it's the brushes that you use can make a difference. Sometimes if they're too um, harsh or pokey, they can. Sometimes if they're too fluffy, they can. There's different 
reasons for different formulas sometimes um, being kick happy a lot of times some um, vegan um, cruelty free formulas because they're because they're pigments and they have a lot of payoff they sometimes are so yeah it depends but like i said i didn't remember this formula being like that but you know brands can play around with formulas per palettes if they want to so this is a really really pretty color so i think i'm going to say i'm going to save the um shade sunny the bright orange i think i might use that to blend out and i'm going to use the more i want to say mustardy orange for the middle part of the lid oh i really like the shade I don't think this is going to be too long of a video today. I just want, I just felt like playing the doggos back home. <laughs> so I've been washing the blankets and stuff that he was laying on. Doggies are smelly <laughs> and so much energy. I'm definitely a cat mother. <laughs> um, that frenetic energy that some dogs have. I mean, there's probably some, there's some that I've known that have been very quiet, but the frenetic, frenetic energy is, uh, not something that I'm really good with, though he is the um, Pascal was the is the sweetest boy, and I really liked actually I didn't mind taking him for all the walks. We'd go three or four times in a day. We'd take him for fifteen, depending on what time of the day, because when I was wor I was working during the day. But the, the first morning walk and the afternoon and evening walks just before bed were always ones that were a bit longer, and then just kind of in the middle of the afternoon we would have a quick little jaunt outside just because watching me work is probably very boring for the doggo and even though he'd get a nice chewy rawhidey thing um every day to munch on definitely likes to check his emails by peeing on every single bush every single stick oh my god dogs have to have um hollow legs or extra pee bladder i don't know it's insanity this is a really nice orange. I like that. Okay, so now we are going to go... I might even use that same brush. Eh, not pile on my wash, brushes to wash. So I said I was going to use... Because there's two yellows in here. There's one that's called Sunny, which I thought we might want to use blending around the edges. But there's one here that's called Mango Margarita. Margarita? Yes. So I thought we could use that more towards the front. Or maybe we can do that um, in the inner corner blending upwards, maybe. So let's just clean this off and go into mango margarita, which sounds absolutely delicious. Okay, this one had a little bit of um, kick up when I brushed into it. Yes, the, the orange soda pop didn't, but this one definitely did. So there we go. So let's just pop that in as the next one. It's gonna be nice and bright. I'm not going to do it, but a little bit of green would be good. Ooh, that peach snow cone is nice. I was thinking of adding that, but um, maybe we'll try a smidge of it and then we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll just skip that shade. Orange and yellow would be good enough. Oh, this is a really, yeah, I think this is probably one of the brighter oranges that I have in an eyeshadow. I have a, um, some very vibrant orange blushes for an eyeshadow. That's probably my most vibrant orange one I have. I definitely cannot wait for um, warmer weather. I don't like weather when it's hot, but I definitely like to see a little bit more sunshine, less gray skies, and it to be a just a smidge warmer. That would be super a-okay. That's really pretty. Like I said, we're just trying to do something that's kind of sun sunset, sunrise, no, Sunsets are more orange, right? And then sunrise is more yellow. Alrighty. That is nice. Yeah, I am going to quickly, like I said, if it doesn't work out, um, I will um, go into the sunny up front. But I want to see if we take a little bit of peach. Is it snow cone? Yeah, peach is snow cone. Maybe stick that a little bit in the front. But I'm going to try it on one eye just a little bit. And if I don't think... That's where I want to go. Oh, maybe I do, and I can use that yellow to blend out. Yeah, no, I think that kind of works okay. So I'm gonna go like so, and take the peach snow cone, bring that up front. Oh yeah, that worked. Wasn't 100% sure, but I think that looks good. I 
Uh, this one too. It looks like the lighter shades may have a little bit more kick up than the darker shades, which is kind of weird, but here we are. Or it could be the brush. This is definitely quite a different brush than the first one that I was using. All right, and that's cute. So before I blend out with, no, maybe I better do that first. Okay, so I'm going to take a small brushy brush that is kind of, that, uh, that one's not as fluffy. I want not too big, but I do want a little bit of floof. So we're gonna go in it to, yeah, there's a little bit of kick up in mango margarita and peach snow cone. Okay, so we're gonna go into the shade Sunny. I'm going to get a little bit. Okay, so maybe so far it's only the orange that has no kick up. So my friend was right. There is definitely some kick up with this, but as long as I get the color payoff and it isn't like shattering the whole um, shade like way back in the day that Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that everybody was swept in and all of a sudden they were panning it was uh, crazy days that was when I start just started getting more into watching YouTube oh yeah that looks good I like that Ooh, what a pretty yellow so I will just pick up the kick up once in the pan it's good because once um, my um, Midas Cosmetics um, yellowy palette is done because I'm going to use that one to the bitter end. Um, I might have another one here for a replacement. This is a nice yellow. All right, so now I'm going to go into the first two shades that we did, and then I'm just going to intensify some of the spots back. So, first, we're going to go into Mango Margarita for in the middle, like so, and then into Orange Soda Pop. Oh, yes, we want to get some of that little bit of dark back there. And then the peach in the front, which is peach snow cone. Okay, so now for the bottom, I'm going to go, I'm going to actually use the brush we used for the yellow, and I'm going to go into orange soda pop, and I'm going to do that along the bottom. I go a little bit too deep on the eyes. I'm just gonna clean that off after with the um, sponge. I just wanted to make sure I'm getting some good orange. I'm trying to remember if I have an orange eyeliner for the waterline. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably just going to very lightly um, clean that up after. Okay, so now for shimmery shades, we've got three, two, oh, so there's four four shimmers in here. So out of the one, two, three, yeah. So out of the 12 shades, we have four shimmers. We have the one that's called a summer feeling, which will beautifully go with that. We've got this one called coconut slushy. We've got fireworks and then we've got bronzed bombshell. So I don't think I want to go with bronze bombshell. That would look make a really nice neutral look. So let's look at fireworks first. This looks like a kind of like a, yes, very peachy. And, and then coconut slushy. Ooh, that's really pretty. Well, just for, oh, you know what, let's for giggles here. Let's do bronzed bombshell. And then let's do summer feeling just because we're doing all the shimmers oh <laughs> look at these they're so nice and smooth feeling oh they're beautiful so i think we are going to use fireworks that was the first one that we did there and i think we're gonna have that in the middle i brought some of my aggressive spray and then yeah let's use this one it's nice and flat but not too big so then let's go into Peach Fireworks, that was very pretty. And then I think um, Give Me Glow has gone to a smaller pan sizes, I think due to request, because some people were saying that, you know, A would help with price and they don't go through all of them, but I like these big round pots, the pans. They also remind me kind of like with this, with the white background, some, some of my favorite Juvia's Place palettes that had these nice round pans with a nice, um, white or black background. Okay, so 
let's see here. And we'll also do the phalange test. So none of these are like a duochrome or anything, but they are very nice and smooth. So then we'll do the other eye and then we'll do the fingers. Because I have a feeling that will definitely give more bling. And then we'll just, I think for the inner corner, maybe we should use coconut slushy. So no matter how much that teal is calling to me, I don't think we'll want it in this look. So we kind of based it there. It's just that's nice, but let's do that because it went, it's they swatched so beautiful using the finger on my arm. So yeah, look at that. That is really pretty. Okay, so now for the inner corner, we said we wanted to go into is use the brush that I used here. I think this will work. Okay, so we're gonna go into coconut slushy. So this is the one that we put on our lid. So now we're gonna use a little bit of that one for the inner corner. I think I would have changed anything in this palette. I think I would have maybe taken the red out to put a yellow shimmer, I think. I mean, orange, our uh, red, orange, and yellow looks good too to do a sunset. So I, see, I know why it's in here. But, uh, okay, so I'm gonna go and do my base and see what kind of liner I want, et cetera, et cetera. And then we will come back, ooh, so pretty. We will come back and play with that highlighter really quick and talk for the palette. Okay, we'll be right back. And here we go with our almost final look. I did my base. I did a little orange blush from the Saharan Blush Palette 2 or 1. 1, I think, from Juvia's. Plus, I have both of them. <laughs> the one with the darker shades. Put on a little yellow eyeliner, a little mascara. And now we are going to play with one of my favorite highlighters of all times. I'm usually not a much of a loose highlighter person, but this one is amazing. This is a Moonlight. I'm not sure if they do these anymore. Um, I know they had some on sale a while back. The only drawback is the holes in here are a bit big, so if you tip it over, you get a lot of highlighter out. So you have to be a little gentle with that. So I always take some and then I tap that out into the cap. But this is one of the most blinding, beautiful highlights. Look at that. So I usually place it and then I gotta come back and blend, 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 because like I said, it is one of the most um, blinding highlights you'll ever see. It is a very shiny, glistening, wet. <laughs> I mean, look, look at it. I mean, hello. So if they don't make these anymore, they should, or maybe make it into a pressed form because this is a beauty. Um, I wanted to pick up some more, but the only, the last time when I went, when I ordered the Halloween palette, I think they only had some of the darker shades, at least in stock, but there we go. So wanted to just add one more give me glow product because <laughs> like I said all I have is the eyeshadows but I do have these there we go give me glow and it is the moonlight okay so this palette I like this this is so good this does remind me a little bit of the Zulu palette not quite just a few of the the shades I think this shade this shade this shade this shade maybe but anyways, it does give me that kind of vibe. So maybe that's why I liked it so much, but I do like this and I'm so glad that uh, my friend did the two for one. This is great. So anyways, yeah. So the only thing I would say is do your base first. There was a little bit of kick up in the pan. I did have a little bit of yellow fallout, not a lot of fallout, but there was definitely kick up in the pan. So just be careful if you don't like tap it off, you know, maybe then you might get fallout. But like I said, except for a teeny bit of yellow, I didn't get any, but there was kick up in the pan of all the shades I tried, except for the orange one really didn't have much kick up. Or if it did, I really couldn't see. But the, the two yellow, and the peach one definitely did but like I said that doesn't change my mind on the quality I really like give me glow and if it wasn't so expensive to get to me 
I would buy everything they put out, but there we go. So that is our quick look today, doing a better late than never than with the Give Me Glow Summer Vibes palette. So if you manage to get it in the sale or you already own it, remember, we're trying to use the products that we have. So hopefully this inspires you to go and play with your palette. So that's it for me today. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment and subscribe, and maybe even hit that notification bell. Not that is okay we can still be friends and we can still look at palettes better late than never. As always, behave, make good choices, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.